We begin tonight with this developing story. A jury has found a man accused of brutally beating his roommate on Valentine's Day in 2016 guilty of attempted first degree murder. The jury wasted no time delivering the verdict shortly after prosecutors and the defense delivered their closing arguments. CBS 4's Ty Russell spoke to the mother of the victim. He joins us live from the courthouse in Miami with details. Ty. Well, Jim and Ruta Bay, the jury deliberated for about an hour and a half, and they then decided that Byron Mitchell tried to kill his roommate who he met on Craigslist. Now, his attorneys were saying that he was defending himself. However, the jury and the victim's mom did not see it that way. Count one, guilty of attempted first degree premeditated murder. On the fifth day of trial, Byron Mitchell learned he will not be leaving jail. He will now wait for his sentencing hearing. Mitchell is accused of choking, beating, and stabbing Danielle Jones on Valentine's Day in 2016. Her mother was in court as the verdict was announced. It could be debilitating, and she is permanently disabled, though she appears normal. Amy Nikolov says her daughter is still suffering, even though it doesn't appear that way. Thank you. Jones broke down on the stand last week, talking about her long road and battle to recovery. Her mother says taking the stand was a lot for her daughter to relive that day. It was very difficult for her to take the stand, but life has been difficult for her since. And this is just another bump in the road, I guess. Jones became roommates with Mitchell after posting an ad on Craigslist. The jury believed Mitchell tried to kill Jones back in 2016 after a week of living together. He attempted to clean up, to hide the evidence, to make the scene look the way he wanted to, to fit his story. That was a prosecutor during closing arguments. The defense tried to poke holes in the case, but the jury saw otherwise. If you have to work hard to make their evidence fit, these elements, that's not guilty, folks. Mitchell's family didn't have anything to say to us. As for Jones's mother, she doesn't see today as justice since her daughter is still suffering because of the severe beating. We'll keep being there for her. We'll make ourselves available for her. But you can't force a brain injured adult to do anything. And today, that mother is still worried about her daughter. She says she changed right after those severe injuries. She doesn't even keep in contact with her relatives that much anymore. Meanwhile, the suspect in this case, Byron Mitchell, he is now waiting to figure out whether he will be spending the rest of his life in prison. We are live in Miami. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News.